Hello everyone, this is Kmon from MBT. In this session, which is the first series of battery simulation in console software, we're going to give you a brief introduction to battery simulation in console. So let's talk about why we model and simulate batteries. Well, we model batteries to understand battery systems and their characteristics with predicting these characteristics using several validated models models that are available in the console software and finally we optimize and control these characteristics by conducting several parametric studies. In the models available in the console software for battery simulation we have four different models uh, from heterogeneous models which could be used for 3D geometries and considering uh, transport and thermokinetics reactions to equivalent circuit and lump models. From heterogeneous models to equivalent circuit and lump models, the cost of computation will decrease as well as the range of validity of the simulation. In between, we have two other models as homogeneous models, which could be used for one-dimensional to three-dimensional models, and the electrodes described as single particles, which could be used like the equivalent circuit model and be used for uh, zero-dimensional and one-dimensional for particle diffusion. The most common model used in battery simulation in COMSOL would be the homogeneous models, and uh, the scope of homogeneous model is composed of two different components. The first one is the electrolyte that the concentration dependent conductivity or the poor electrolyte in uh, separators and electrodes and diffusion or migration would be uh, great topics to study uh, for the electrolyte. The second component is the porous electrodes, and the porous electrodes uh, could be analyzed uh, in different ways, like intercalating host materials, uh, the porosity variation, and the electrode reactions. And uh, one of the most interesting ones is the aging mechanisms. For example, if you want to analyze the aging mechanisms, you could study the loss of active material, uh, the side reactions like CO2 formation on the anode, or cycling-induced degradations. In the Council Multiphysics, uh, we consider a lot of uh, reactions and phenomena like electromagnetics, fluid, heat transfer, chemical reactions, different equations, we have the optimization processes uh, which could be used uh, for designing and optimizing a battery model. And also the console has the ability to uh, couple with other softwares as MATLAB or Excel or it could be used for CAD integrations. So uh, for the first simulation uh, we need to define some parameters. Uh, and here in the introduction section, uh, we're going to define these parameters uh, like uh, the SOC, which is the state of charge, the OCV, which is the open cell voltage, uh, the I1C rate, which is uh, the 1C discharge current. It's actually the current we use uh, for the battery as a discharge rate of 1C. The EPSL, which is the electrolyte phase volume fraction. Other parameter would be EPSS, which is the electrode phase volume fraction. And CL null uh, is the initial electrolyte salt concentration. For example, as an example of uh, salt in lithium ion batteries is the lithium hexafluorophosphate uh, salt which we use in our first simulation and uh, you need to define the initial uh, concentration of this salt in the electrolyte. 
So this was all for the introduction. I hope you enjoyed this uh, introductory session. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can leave your question in the comments. Uh, hope you find it well and see you in the next session.